Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh uh, The next topics that we are going to discuss is about the uh, possible topic area in ELT research uh, English language teaching research and the steps of how to conduct uh, First of all, let me uh, show you the possible topic area especially for the students of S1 and S1 students that still need some helps of uh, how to think about the uh, variables uh, especially the issues and also the topic what 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 uh, we have to create from the possible topic area now let's see that uh, the possible topic area in the area of english language teaching research can be uh, what uh, stimulated from number one is uh, the possibility of maximizing all English skill and components. So we can have a research on listening, perhaps speaking, reading, writing, grammar, vocabulary. Uh, what are the uh, possible area of all the uh, skills and the components of, of the English language? We can have at least on curriculum development, on, on developing the syllabus, materials, on analysis, or English tests, uh, developing English tests, or analysis of uh, materials, or the test that has been uh, produced, or, or creating or developing the new test, and then comparisons of uh, the strategy, perhaps, or composition, composition of the materials or effectiveness of the test book, test correlation, kind of test, and so on. And in terms of the method of teaching, we can also have a focus or topic on approach, method, techniques, or effectiveness of assessment of method, assessment of program, teaching media, correlation, comparison, descriptive, or experiment, or uh, assessment of the ach achievement itself. Uh, and also the audience analysis, if it is possible in uh, public speaking. So this, this, uh, the topics in uh, skills and also the component of English language that we can have for the initiation of uh, making the possible area or topic area. The next is on uh, literature, perhaps if the students are interested in prose, drama, or poetry. The possible topic area may, might be on analysis of conflict, character, characterization, setting, devices of poem and, and the message and so on. And also the third is on the introduction to linguistics, perhaps analysis on the discourse, uh, discourse cohesion and coherence as part of the discourse analysis, transformation of grammar, competence and performance, semantic analysis of meaning, symbol, contextual and cultural orientation, English phonology, semiotic, sociolinguistic, speech act. It might be of uh, standard and non-standard language analysis, or psycholinguistics analysis, metacognition, language thinking, and so on. So as long as those are related to English education, we, we, the students can have a topic area on literature and, and introduction in linguistics. And the fourth, it might be from cross-culture understanding area, uh, maybe the culture in particular uh, a place or the culture that uh, reflected in a film, culture reflected in a, a novel and so on, or perhaps on translation, the way the students have uh, effective translation method and so on, or analysis of, of translation done by the students and so on. And next is on uh, business English area, business letters and reports, the analysis of the method boards, choice of word, the, the, uh, for example, in the kinds, kinds of letters, complaint, inquiry, and so on. And this area, especially on the business English or business letters and reports, is quite limited, uh, done by the researchers of English students. Uh, next is on dictation, area of 
of students the way how they understand in the process of dictation and English for specific purposes. Uh, this is quite various because English for specific purposes just like uh, designing the curriculum or designing the syllable, uh, syllabus materials and the analysis and so on, just like in English for general purposes or perhaps uh, quite uh, specific on teaching English as a foreign language, focusing on uh, teaching math, uh, descriptive uh, evaluation, comparison, correlation, or perhaps action research or experiment re experimental research of uh, using a particular uh, method or, or, or strategy. So these are all uh, the possible topics area in uh, conducting the research in English language teaching. Now, let's uh, be back again to the kind of the research that we have discussed in the first material that uh, kinds of research are grouped into fundamental, applied research, action research, assessment, evaluation, descriptive research. Those are usually a part of uh, a, a quantitative research and and the other qualitative one are case study survey, uh, survey sometimes can be quantitative or qualitative and content analysis follow up study or evaluation okay this is just to reflect about uh, and refresh again about the kind of the research now the second point in this in this uh, in this case is how to do all the steps uh, in doing the research. Uh, first, the first step, a researcher should be able to determine the research problem. So what kind of research problem which is researchable? So uh, the, uh, the issue or the topic should have a gap between the expectation and, and the problem, the existing problem. So there should be a gap and and researchable and of course no answer of the problem yet. After we identify the research problem or we, we, we determine the research problem, then the next stage is a preliminary study. In this, in this step, we have to do the exploration or study about related literature that relate to the problem or to find more information so the problem is clear. So preliminary study is quite important at the beginning because the researcher should have enough uh, knowledge on the issue or the topic that, that, that is going to be uh, searched. And the third is after preliminary study and clear enough and we know the gap, then we formulate the problem. Formulation of the problem should be clearly stated and it is usually in the form of the questions and should re reflect about uh, what we have to state in the formulation of the problem should reflect the uh, variable and then th that's also described the uh, design in general and the subject. And the fourth is formulate the assumption if it is necessary. It is something that is believed then it is used to conduct research this is uh, optional usually and then the next step or the fifth steps is formulate the hypothesis so hypothesis is a temporary answer of the problem it is to guide uh, to determine the direction of the research it is just only for research that focuses on the correlation and comparison so not all research need hypothesis then so only the research that is testing the theory that needs hypothesis commonly and the sixth, choose the research design. So research design, so many research design in quantitative. Uh, we have experiment, survey, comparative study, uh, correlational study, and so on. Uh, or perhaps just assessment or descriptive research or action research. We have to explain and write down the uh, research design that that supporting the uh, uh, issue that we are going to to focus in the research. This uh, research design will determine the kind of variable, the data, and the subject. And the next step is the seventh step. Determine the variable and data resources. 
the object of the research, what should be investigated, how can the data be gathered, and where should be gathered. So we have to uh, identify the process of determining the variable and data resources. And the next step is uh, determine the instrument. After the process of gathering the data is clear, then we have to also determine the way, uh, what kind of tools or instrument that we are going to have in research. So some considerations should be made, for example, what should be searched, what kind of data that should be collected, where do the data come from, how are the data collected, what are the appropriate instruments used. So these are the uh, consideration of determining the instrument. The nine is data collection, who collects the data, when will the data be collected and how long. Uh, it is a matter of uh, process of data collection. And then the next, after the data is already been gathered and already been collected, then we have to think of how to analyze the data. Some strategies can be used if it is quantitative, then uh, do we have to need, uh, we do, do we have to analyze using the uh, SPSS or or analysis, uh, parametric or non-parametric analysis and so on. Or just only uh, descriptive statistics that we use in a data analysis. And then next is draw a conclusion. The conclusion here is if it is testing the theory, then we have to check whether the hypothesis can be accepted or, or not, or can be accepted or rejected. If it is uh if it does not apply what or are the the answer of the research if, if no hypothesis then directly answer the the research questions what's the answer that is the conclusion uh usually it is followed by some suggestions of the research after the first until the 11 process already been uh, completely done and then the last uh, step is reporting the research. It's usually in the form of written and type uh, form. It should be reported based on the common and fixed rule. It should uh, follow the uh, layout, the common layout, and also references. We have uh, quotation uh, using the APA style or or the others and so on. This is uh, reporting the research. Okay, that's enough for <coughs> uh, uh, what uh, the way how we identify the possible topics and 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 identify the steps in doing uh, the research in English language teaching, especially for the student in S1 degree. Thank you very much.